Hey team and welcome to episode three of The Journey. Episode two, we talked about my weight loss journey and how I overcome the weight loss journey, my football passions and the huge epiphany that I had that made me realize that that wasn't the purpose and the life that I was meant to go down. So episode three, from there, we talked about, so we talked about my weight loss journey and from when I was going through the process of losing my weight, I was actually a part of a boot camp program. I was doing it two or three times a week, um, Battlefit Australia. And the owner of Battlefit was a guy called Andrew Pat, which was, I consider my first big mentor. Um, and I started training with Battlefit and I just loved the atmosphere. I loved the vibe. I loved going there. I loved the feeling after. I loved, it was like a team sport. Um, I said, but you're working on yourself, you're training as well, which is what I really, really liked. And I started to be uh, a, a big sponge to Pap. I started to, you know, talk to him a lot. I started to turn up to training early or stay around later to talk to him or, um, you know, we would often catch up and do a few sessions together, go for a few runs, you know, train in the, in the gym or whatever it was. And I started to surround myself with him, you know, and they talked about you are the average of the five people you surround yourself with. And Pat was probably the biggest influence um, in my life going through that transition in trying to find my, my passion and purpose. So I love the community aspect about I loved team sports growing up. I was always a part of it. And I started to, you know, recognize, you know, how you run his business and the type of business that I was and how you can make a career out of it. And so what happened was I I, I looked into doing my Cert 3 and 4. And at this time, this was December 2015, and we had a holiday planned uh, as a family um, the end of that year coming into the new year. So it was about December 2015 and I started to get the feelers out about starting my own business. Um, by this time, going into the holiday, I had found my course, my Cert 3 and 4, um, through a company called FIA Fit Nation. And I would start that course as soon as I got back in 2016, which was five weeks um, of Cert 3 with a week off, five, uh, five weeks of Cert 4. So I had enrolled into that and I remember um, the back end of that 2015 year, I would started to think about names for the business, you know, what would I call it, that exciting time, you know, started to doubt myself, you have those second thoughts, you're going against the status quo, you're starting a business at a young age, you know, should you be going to university, blah, 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 and had all those internal thoughts, but I, I committed to the course, um, my mate, John Grant, designed me a logo, which we have now, um, DMR, which was our first um, brand and logo, and I would go into the holiday and I would feel really, really good about the, the future. And I, that holiday to me was the last holiday for a while. But it was it was a time to unwind before I knew things were about to, to get crazy and to get exciting and to um, to have so much growth in the next, particularly the, well, the next four years as a whole. But so I went on the holiday and came back and did the course, started to get through the course, and that is what episode four is all about. So you don't have to wait till tomorrow to watch episode four where I...